begin tonight with new information on Wisconsin's recount effort. A court rejected a request from Trump supporters to immediately stop the recount in Wisconsin. The judge did allow the lawsuit to continue, though, so the recount goes on for now. NBC 26's Marissa DeCandido is live in Ashwaubenon as county clerks work to meet their deadline. Marissa? Megan, two super PACs and a Trump supporter filed a federal lawsuit late last night and a temporary restraining order trying to immediately stop the recount. They say that it threatens the due process rights of people who voted for Trump. But a judge today denied the request to immediately stop the recount, but the lawsuit will continue. In Brown County today, County Clerk Sandy Juno says the recount process is going smoothly. Today, they finished recounting votes from 12 reporting units in addition to seven finished yesterday. Altogether, they have a little under 130,000 votes to count here. When I spoke with Juno earlier today, she told me she didn't know much about the lawsuit filed, but as of now, it's not changing what she has to do. I'm not really familiar what's going on with that process. Um, I've been charged with handling this recount, and we will just continue to meet, move forward until we're told by the state to stop. Brown County is using a combination of hand counting and optical scan machines for the recount. Juno tells me she hopes they can finish this process before next weekend. As for the lawsuit, a hearing is scheduled for December 9th, which is just three days before the deadline of the recount on December 12th. Live in Ashwabanon, keeping you connected, Mercedes Candido, NBC 26. Thank you, Marissa. Ballot counting is off to a slow start in Waukesha County. Workers expected to be counting votes all night. Our correspondent Rebecca Klopp joins us from Waukesha with more on their efforts. Counting and sorting and questioning has been underway for hours in Waukesha County. It's pretty slow. Yes, it's taking a long time. We are looking at all of the absentee envelopes and matching the total numbers of those to the um, absentee log. So that will take a little while. That was the official word from the clerk around two. Since then, no updates. That little while turned into all day and into the night. We haven't found any large issues, but we found many small issues. And since my job is to make sure that things are happening the way they're supposed to be happening, that means I'm raising my hand to find on each of those small issues. If there is an issue on the ballot, it goes before a three-panel board to vote. They decide if the ballot is valid. Many of the people who came out to check ballots also worked at polling sites on Election Day. I wanted to see how the actual tabulation process was going to go. It's giving me another picture of politics and how it all works. President-elect Donald Trump in Ohio, a part of his thank you tour today. The tour is meant to express Trump's gratitude for winning battleground states. No date yet on Trump's visit to Wisconsin. And for up-to-the-minute coverage of Wisconsin's recount and Trump's transition, be sure to visit our website, NBC26.com, or download our mobile app.